Can okay. you do aloha with me? Yep. Aloha. Aloha. Ha. Aloha. Ha. Top of the morning, friends and family. Uh, if you watch our videos, then you know that we upload some beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces to this channel. Today's video is uncut. And in today's uncut, it's kind of a, it's a somber video. Uh, something didn't go so right here in the snake room recently. And, Daddy uh, smashed some snake's head up. Wow, I was going to give them a little bit of a warning before we went right into that, but we'll just kind of assume that not everybody understood what you just said, so let's, we'll go with that. But uh, yeah, we had some snakes hatch out, or not not quite hatch out, that they didn't really hatch out. And um, in the spirit of transparency, transparency, Tra <laughs> I'm making up words now, the um, Tra transparency, we've, we've always shared the good and the bad here on this channel. That's, that's something we've done since the very beginning, way back when we first started the channel. We, we just kind of shared the successes and the failures in the hopes to keep a balanced outlook on life and from this channel and, and What's that? You you talking to your microphone? You want to say something? <laughs> <laughs> you got some secrets over there? Did I did I throw you off by saying that I I didn't want you to say that yet? Well, I, I wanted to give you guys a fair warning before we take a look at any of this or I tell you anything because we're very open here with our kids about everything that happens in reality. Um, I don't want to assume that everybody has that for their kids. If you have to be watching with your kids uh, or anything like that, or if you're particularly I'm gonna show you just a second. Yeah, if you're particularly squeamish or anything like that. Um, then I wanted to give you a fair warning to about that to so be sensitive to some of our viewers out there. Uh, it's you know it's it was a bit emotional emotional for me. Um, we've never had a clutch go this exact way. We've definitely had snakes in eggs that didn't make it out of the eggs or or were under deform or underformed or um, just never made it out. This is the first time I've had some severe deformity, and the snakes are alive and breathing. Um, so that's that that was that was pretty rough. So basically there was six eggs in the clutch. I've got two of the snakes over here. Um four of them were just so badly deformed they never even had a chance at making it. Um they were unfortunately breathing. We do fortunately have Midnight our indigo snake who is there in a big way for purposes of this to be able to keep the circle of life going and feed anything that ha like happens like that so at least it's not a waste of of life and life feed death feeds life as it as it does in the natural cycle of things um but uh now can we see the snake but that's we only Big have ones. hold on t hold on a second okay just one sec we're, are the snakes, are the you're so snakes, you're still snakes are in the, that blue box. I think you're still in a place in life where you're so so innocent that oh I left my crease. oh my gosh oh, I think you're still in a spot in life where you're so innocent that this isn't really hitting it's you taking the way it's hitting so me long to see the dead snakes. oh my gosh T we got to have respect for these the snakes T the snakes that passed so maybe you're a little too young for this video yeah i think so that's all right um so the ones that couldn't get fed off because my indigo snake can only eat so much and i didn't want those snakes to just in be in some suffering existence hey t we're doing the video remember um I, I pithed, I pithed them. Some of you who've been researching or, or maybe paying attention to forums uh, for a long time with snakes, uh, one of the most successful and quick and painless ways to dispatch an animal is to, hey T, hey T, I'm, I'm, we're talking on the video right now. Can you, can you, can you participate with the video or, or are you just going to make random noises and swish around in your chair? <laughs> I guess I could always kill your microphone. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> anyway, I, I had to dispatch a couple of them, and that means Hello. pithing, and that means uh, basically destroying the brain um, quickly and efficiently. 
I guess I won't go into the details of, of, of how exactly. Well, no, I guess I should, because if any of you out there are thinking, this is why I share this stuff. If any of you out there are thinking about breeding um, and, and doing stuff like this, then you got to know that this is a possibility that's going to come across your plate and you got to be ready to deal with it. And it can be, it's, it's hard. It's emotional, you know, we care about the animals. We want them all to do well. That's just not the reality of, of life and the way it works with snakes, a bunch of eggs, you know, some, some things go wrong. And so I, I did have to dispatch with a, with a hammer just to, for it to be as quick and painless as possible for, for those unfortunate snakes that were definitely not going to make it in this world. Um, so that's rough. That's, that's rough. But I wanted to share that so that you guys that are thinking about breeding, thinking about doing this type of stuff that we that we do with with animals are well aware of the reality of it and we've got a couple here that i thought might stand a chance because they they seemed you know when they were still in the egg it looked like they're they're doing okay compared to the other ones and oh no are those ones alive? one of the one of these ones was alive and it it just didn't make it this one was not nearly, this one was the least, this one was not too badly kinked. So, T, see this, this one, this little baby didn't make it, T. This one's, Aww. this one we're going to have to feed to, uh. The other one's still alive. Yeah, we'll turn your mic back on, okay? Okay, okay folks. So who are we going to your, your mood is your, your, your joyous mood is not matching to what's happening right now, but again, I'll just chalk that up to your innocence. Is this a girl? Um, we don't know what this was going to be, T, but this one, so this is one right here. This one apparently just, just passed. Um, so that's, that's not fun to see. Yeah, we, we've got one in here that... It's still here. This is where it's tough because this one seems like it's... Not necessarily in any kind of well, it's definitely having some some slight locomotion issues. Um, certainly has a Maybe it just wants quite to the kink it down here in the tail, um, which ultimately would end up being a problem when it's time to pass urates and and things like that. That would become quite the problem. This is this is the best looking. Well, actually, that one that we just showed that just has passed in the last however many minutes it took to set up this video. Um, yeah, you can, you can hold the snake tea. So see how this one has got some not so great kinking going on there. You see how its body's not normal, how it's not kind of not quite moving right. I don't know what happened with this clutch. This was a, um, our pastel and clown, Ricky, um, who has sired many, many healthy clutches here at triple B. Um, the mom was a first time mom. She was uh our lemon pastel um scale is head clown, so we were expecting all, all clowns from this clutch. But if you can see the, the yeah, motion doesn't chocolate? interesting move backwards. Chocolate. Yeah, one one sec T. Sorry, I'm just gonna explain this real quick, okay, and then we'll chocolate. So chocolate. anyway, that long story short, it's this is just one of the realities of working with snakes. And uh, I'll definitely not bring Leia down next time we have a video like this to talk about because she's clearly not in it or with it as far as what the reality of what's happening right here right now. Um, which is okay. She's still just a little just a little girl just figuring stuff out. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate. It's... You can kind of see the way the snake is moving. And there's a lot of a lot of backwards motion happening, um, a lot of moving back instead of forward. And this is probably just trying to retreat, and probably just a little bit like oh, this, this bright light so and, and that. Died? Um, that was the yeah the brother or sister that everything else didn't make it, and this snake is probably not going to make it either. T, I really wanted to try and give at least one of them a chance to make it. Um, if it if it could, you know, it did come out of the egg on its own at least. Uh, I mean, I, I had put a put a hole in the egg, you know, it didn't cut its way out, but it did come out on its own, not like the rest of them. Uh, it's just not, it's not good. Daddy? Just like the focus on this video has not been good because I'm... Now could I <sighs> just some other snakes? All right, T, I know you're, you're done with this video. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this video too, honestly, so now I think we're in the same place. But... Yes, I know. 
Anyway, this this is it. This is this is what I want to share with you guys. This this is what's happening uh, today for the channel. And um, again, I, I hope the warning at the beginning was enough to keep you from being bummed out. We usually try to bring good energy, but if this if it's not a good energy day, we're not going to fake it. This is not a good day. So, well, at least for some of us, <laughs> love to be back in your innocent innocence tea. Although we are where we're at. Um, everything happens the way it happens and that's how it happens and yeah now it's hold chocolate chop I mean me okay T holding chocolate and chocolate's gonna be in the video yay hey chocolate hey bud don't you remember me your best friend in the whole wide world you want to uncurl and, and snake around? We had to make a cut in the video because I, I didn't want to end it. I wanted to end it on a high note. with. And we wanted those snakes to live, not die. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now it's time to get serious. <laughs> what are we going to get serious about, T? The video one. Can I show everybody chocolate? Okay. I named chocolate that because it has a little bit of the blue, blue, black. That's why I named it chocolate. I hope everybody doesn't want chocolate. What happens if everybody wants chocolate? <gasps> <laughs> Nobody's saying anything right now. We're just looking at him in the video. Please don't get so chocolate. <laughs> chocolate buds. Just swivel around like you always do, please. <laughs> Le Leia is advocating to keep this hypo, who she has dubbed chocolate, since the other chocolate <laughs> got, got, you know, went away. It's a good place. You know, Chris, Chris has chocolate. Yeah, the original chocolate. Nope. He's, he's taking good care of him. <laughs> mm, I don't want this chocolate to the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to talk about it. It's possible that we can make that happen. It's possible to you, isn't it? I don't want anything to happen to you. Where's your little head? Oh, I see you. Huh? <laughs> Why are you upside down? Boop. Oh, I guess you be. <laughs> <sighs> All right, you guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Until, take care of chocolate, please. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Aloha. We're still doing this video, you know. <laughs>